Okay, recording now. Get my wallet out of my pocket. Okay, so we're gonna go left side first. Left side? Yep, and just lean back, relax your belly as much as you can. We're gonna go right. Right here. Right there. You're gonna pinch it, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Woo! Can you give me the one, two, three? I'll tell you, I'll tell you when it's coming, all right? Here we go. Yeah, relax it just as much as you can. Here it come. I can feel my whole body break out in the sweat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're sweating a little bit. Woo! I just took a shower. <laughs> I have to go for round two. <sighs> wow. That literally felt just like a bee sting. Mm -hmm. I just got stung in the neck by a bee about two weeks ago. Oh, seriously? And that's exactly what it felt like. That, that's, that's a pretty accurate description of it. That was definitely not as bad as I thought it was going to be. And, yeah, the... The larger injections uh, tend to burn a little more. Okay. Um, the when you go down, you know, after your second injection and you go down to the lower dose, um, the it, it tends not to burn nearly as much because again, it's a smaller quantity. Okay. Now a couple things: don't rub it. Don't. I mean. Don't try to flatten it. Don't try to flatten it. Okay. We want there to be a lump. Okay. Okay. That lump should be there, and and, and it will it'll flatten down on its own over time. But that's part of what makes the medication work and, and, and extend out. If you rub it, it'll actually cause your body to absorb more of it, more of it, and metabolize it quicker. Okay. So you'll it'll actually boost the dose. Somebody said that um, if they feel like they're like needing more, that they'll rub it, and it would. Is that like a psychological thing, or do you think it will actually start to make more go in your system? Well, you no, I, th it, it, I think it'll make more go in your system. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. it'll run out faster. Exactly. Should I keep this on here? Uh, go and pull it up, see if you're bleeding anymore. Done. Uh, you got just another drop of blood there, so yeah. You're, you should be good. How deep did you go in? It's subcutaneous, so it, it's it's only maybe half an inch total underneath the, the surface. Did so you have to go at an angle? I go at an angle. Um, I, I don't have to, but I go at an angle and pull the skin over so that when I pull the skin back to its normal spot, it kind of locks it in okay. so it doesn't start leaking out. That's a good idea. Yeah, that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. What else is going to say? Doesn't it peak within 24 hours? Mm -hmm. it, oh yeah, yeah. It, it, well, but it, the thing, it doesn't even really peak. Okay. I mean, you're you're going to have full full function of it within you know probably six hours. Okay. And so yeah, so it's. Um, because it's so long lasting, I mean, that that's intended to suffocate is to not have a peak. To, okay. to really, I mean, it does peak a little bit, especially the first two doses, but okay. it's it's just such a slow release that that it's it's not really noticeable. Okay. Do you think it's already fully formed or does it take a while? No, it's it, fully formed as far as. Like if I move or flex my muscle, will it? Yeah, okay. yeah. In fact, I would, yeah, go ahead and stand up and, you know, move, 